What's going on guys, it's your boy Shivon here back with a new video and today I have Zamshad. Yes, and we're gonna be upgrading my PC today. So the main like the start of the show right here today is the i9 990K and huge thanks to Intel for sending this in. The first thing that I was using was the i5 8500K and it was really good, it ran games really well super good performance but i needed that extra boost when it came on to video editing because i'm now shooting in 4k so i needed that extra speed and the i9 is probably one of the best you can get out there and it's also very good for gaming i know that amd also has new processors that are super super good for gaming but when it comes on to like video editing and gaming i think the i9 is really good for me next up also swapped out the heat sink yep. with this corsair h60 AIO cooler, which is gonna be the i9's best friend. <laughs> also, I added one terabyte of WD Western Digital Blue SSD, and also I wanted to spice it up with some good cable management, so I ordered some PCIe cables from Amazon. And don't worry, guys, all the links for these products will be down below in the description. There's gonna be like an upgrade build guide. Mm. He helped me before my PC build. I need to learn on my own, but I'll be learning soon, guys, so don't worry. This is like my first. PC guide video so it's not gonna be like a full guide there's a lot of YouTube videos out there with full PC build guides this is just like a little upgrade guide so adding the new AI cooler 32 gigs of Corsair RAM i9 processor new SSD and some deep pool LED RGB strips just for the aesthetics so yeah I'm going with a super cool build this case is the deep cool deep cool case RGB 55 RGB 55, yeah, and the motherboard that we're using is the ROS Z390 Pro Wi-Fi and Bluetooth motherboard. So we have Wi-Fi, we have Bluetooth installed, which is super good. Um, it's it supports up to i9, or it even uses um other processors as well. So, but it supports up to i9, so that's really good because we could use that with or PC or CPU. Sorry, we could use that with our CPU. Yeah. Um, another thing is that we're using a 500 watt power supply. Some people might be saying, Chevron, sure, you don't need, you probably need a better power supply, but for now we're gonna be rocking with the 500 watt power supply because it's manageable, it could do the job, which I'll upgrade in the future though. GPU. GPU. Yeah. GPU. Uh, is the, uh, yes, RTX 2060. Yeah, RTX 2060. I love the RTX 2060 because of like the compact design, it's from Gigabyte and it's really small. It has two fans, it runs good, thermals are great. I play games, high the games like Fortnite, Apex Legends on low settings with Fortnite. I also play games in 2K. I get up to 300 FPS, which is mind blowing. All my friends always wonder how I get so many frames. And it's really cool because I've been playing in 2K resolution. If I'm playing in 1080p, you know it's gonna go up to 500 FPS. But yeah, on high settings, High settings, 2K resolution, I get a max around 60 to 70 FPS, which is even really good for like competitive games. So yeah, we're gonna get started, upgrading a few parts, and I hope you guys enjoy the PC build. Let's go.
reason why we went with the HD60 AO cooler, like, what do you think is the advantages over like a standard? A uh, standard fan is the cleaning process. You yeah. don't have to, it's uh, all in one, which is why it's called the uh, AIO. And uh, just like how normal water cooling, with water cooling, you have to go through with uh, maintenance, mm -hmm. take, uh, flushing out the old liquid, putting a new one. Whereas to an uh, AIO, you don't have to do that. And as to a fan, where the fan gets dusty, yeah. this is always clean. You have to just clean that one fan that controls the radiator. Yep. Okay guys, so I was overly impressed with the PC and everything, aesthetically it looked good for the Christmas theme that I was going for the green and the reds, but the PC looks good, but now it's to see if the performance looks good, I'm gonna test it to see what FPS we're getting, we're gonna play three games, because that's the only games I play right now, like competitively, I, tried, I play competitive Fortnite, stuff like that, but I play in 1440p, so we're gonna play Fortnite in 1440p and then I'm gonna turn it down to the normal like pro settings which is like low settings and then I'm gonna show you guys the epic settings okay Google change all the lights to white okay changing eight lights to white alright guys so if you didn't know yes I play on controller so as you can see from in the lobby we're getting like 500 FPS these are my settings right here as you can see view distance everything on low we're gonna put everything to high. Apply. And we could still achieve that 144 FPS. Let's play some. I'm gonna play some Team Room. Oh my god. Oh, you have to get a hold of yourself. Woo! Goodbye, boy. You want some? Want some of this? Okay. Got myself a scar. Let's not talk about that. Epic, 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 epic. And on max out, max out 2K settings. We're getting around 60 FPS. 80 FPS. So we still could hit like around 90 FPS. And we still could get kills, which is really good. That's really good though. The temperature is at like 90, kind of hot, but that's why I have that AI cooler. Now it's time to play some Apex Legends. We're gonna put Apex in high settings real quick. So now we're playing in high settings. It looks so much better. And we're getting around 100, 111 FPS. You got me. I'm down. Come on, teammates. Loading. This one hurt. Hold 
on. Less than one minute. Thanks. Good looking out. Frag out. Yes, that was on point, shooters. Let's go. Alright guys, I'm so sorry I didn't get to play Rainbow Six Siege, but I needed to put this video up before Christmas and as you can see, I was downloading this from last night. I finished downloading it on the Epic Games launcher, so if I go into like my library right here, you can see it's finished, the size, but if I try to play it, it just won't launch, it just runs it, then it crashes. So I hope you guys enjoyed if you made it this far. Drop a like, consider subscribing if you want to see more PC builds like this. I'll be doing some budget builds later on down the road. And sorry for the audio. This was like my first time making this kind of video. But the audio wasn't that good. But hopefully, as you can see, I'm using this mic now. So the audio should be better. I will definitely not use my headphone mic again. But yeah, let me just show you guys what happens when I try to run Rainbow Six Siege through the Epic Games launcher that I downloaded last night, right? Now, when I try to run it, it says it's crashed. So I'm gonna need my money back, Epic. It's not gonna slide like this. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the build. Let me know your thoughts down below. Budget bills coming soon, some $700 bills, $500 bills, $1,000 bills. So make sure you have post notification turned on. And if you want to see a room tour or desk setup, just drop some comments down below and let me know so I could drop that video for you guys. But as always, love, peace, and Merry Christmas. Signing up.